out here. Well, K Dog's been up and down the East Coast, New York City, Boston, Atlanta. That's just fine. I prefer it out here on the beach. Today, I'm in Honolulu at the iconic Waikiki Beach. I'm starting to head back there if you haven't figured it out yet. Well, let's talk crypto. It's been a gut wrenching five months, six months. Since November, cryptocurrencies have been on the decline. To make matters worse, you probably already heard about it, you've already felt it. Terra Station collapsed. Apparently, seven wallets were involved in dumping quite a bit of UST, somewhere around $350 million worth. That caused UST to depeg, and then after that, it was just a race to the bottom. Luna started at about $95. I think today it's at a fraction of a penny. Since then, we've seen Terra 2, the rebirth, or well, the birth of Terra 2, Station 2, and you should have gotten an airdrop on Luna, or in Luna. Those are all tied right now. You can't get your hands on them. So they started off at about $15. I think right now they're about $2.30 this morning. So hold on to them. That's the best we can do. So Terra caused a, a crash in the crypto markets. And just recently, we have the same problem with Celsius Exchange. Celsius, one of the largest lenders in the crypto markets, apparently was taking our cryptos and investing those in investments that were highly leveraged. Of course, those were all tied into smart contracts, which means they couldn't get their hands on them. When people found out, having been through this whole thing with Terra Station, they decided to go ahead and start yanking, pulling all their funds, pulling all their tokens. What that caused was a run on Celsius. They decided to go ahead and freeze all transactions. So no swaps, no deposits, and no withdrawals. So if you're in Celsius, right now everything you have is locked in Celsius. Where's that take us? Where are we gonna go with this? Web 3.0, and here in the future, needs to be all about non-custodial wallets. No keys, it's not your crypto. So we need to start looking towards non-custodial wallets and owning our own keys and ensuring that our cryptos in the future are not locked. That's the way we're gonna to have to go. At JKJ Digital Assets, we've been pushing Trust Wallet, My Ether Wallet, MetaMask. I've got a paper already ready to go on Kepler. Also, Math Wallet. There's a ton of wallets out there, not custodials. Let's talk about the hard wallets. You've got uh, Trezor and Ledger, the two leading uh, hard wallets. So maybe it's time for us to start focusing in that direction. At this point, I'd say if you're still holding on to your cryptos, you are definitely a cryptocurrency veteran. This has not been fun, and I don't think the carnage is over. Bitcoin this morning is at about 21,000, and ETH is holding on to 1,000. My expectation, I hope not, but I can see Bitcoin dropping down to into the uh, ninth, into the teens, and ETH probably down as low as $800. All right, so recently k Dogs told you that he's gonna tell you exactly what he's up to in terms of buying cryptocurrencies. All right, well, I can tell you what I'm up to, but what I will tell you before that is each and every one of us has a certain amount of risk tolerance, risk that we're willing to take. Mine might be a lot higher than yours. I've been in cryptocurrencies for a while now. That being said, I want you to just keep in mind that I still keep my buys relatively small. I don't bet the house. I do not put my rent check into it. So what's JD liking today? I like Bitcoin at these prices, and I certainly like ETH at these prices. Other cryptos that are out there that I'm looking at 
are some of the bigger chains also. Avalanche, Polygon, Cosmos, Harmony. Those are my winners right now. I plan to continue to buy, make small, small buys on all of these cryptos and uh, build up my portfolio, my war chest as we go along. Again, I'm not telling you what to buy. I can't do that. I'm just telling you what I'm up to. It's about noon here. We're closing in on noon. I'm gonna go find myself something with an umbrella in it. Until then, please take care and hang on. The ride is not over yet. It's far from over.